Hello and welcome back to our channel. My name is Stacy, and today we're gonna do a power hour. So um, our downstairs is a bit of a mess. Hasn't been cleaned up very well in a couple days because mama's had a headache. Um, so yeah, let's get this started. I'm gonna show you the mess before we clean up. Here we go, no judgment. So if you're new to our channel, please subscribe. It's free, so hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And then also go over to Instagram and follow me on there. Um, I do some short stories on there and it's Litter of Seven Living for the Lord also. So follow me on Instagram, give me a thumbs up, comment below and let me know where you're from and if this video gives you some cleaning motivation. And of course, subscribe and hit that bell. So yeah, everyone wants to say my house is clean. Like, my house is not clean. Look, juice. <laughs> yeah, there's stuff pretty much everywhere. We had a birthday this week. Cecily turned 16. Yeah, toys shoved just wherever. However, book bags, they're still down here and it's Saturday morning. Um, coats hanging up. like. Look, pictures are still on the table because they had to be taken down when they put our bed up and I was gonna change them out and yeah, I haven't done that yet. So they're still sitting on the table. We have school books from homeschool still on the table. Um, yeah, the house is just a wreck, like literally a wreck. Balloons on the ceiling from Valentine's Day because the kids are still playing with them. Yep, yep. We're gonna start out by fixing some Slim and uh, drink some Slim here this morning to get some energy. And I'm gonna start my diffuser and get that going. Put some orange in the diffuser and some lemon. I'm sorry, not lemon. I'll put some pine in because it will be smelling so good. It makes it smell like cleaning. And I just love the smell of pine when I'm cleaning. And the orange just helps give me so much energy and just a peppy smell. I just love those two together. So we're starting our cleaning, our power out at 11.09. Let's get started. So I'll just start out in the kitchen, um, putting things away that need to be put away that I have neglected. So we'll get those things put away and then just start cleaning up. we'll have to stop and play balloons with Grace for a little bit. <laughs> Doesn't everyone stop and play balloons? I mean, we love to play balloons. <laughs> And then, of course, Grace wants some Slim, so we have to stop and let her drink some Slim. If you don't know about Slim, it's through Plexus. Um, if you want to try some, uh, just message me. I can um, get you hooked up with that, but Slim is awesome. It helps with um, blood sugar and all different types of things, give you lots of energy, So, um, and it is safe for the kids. And there's Grace with her balloon. And you may notice Chandler in the pantry. He is playing in the pantry while I clean today. Um, he saw something on YouTube Kids about the 24 hour pantry challenge. Um, no, he didn't stay for 24 hours, but he did stay for a little while while I cleaned. And there um, I was showing you that the Thieves um, dish soap is what I'm using to clean my dishes.
so I have a leftover cake from Cecily's birthday and cupcakes so I'm just gonna kind of get that cleaned up a little bit and downsize a little and then of course I'm cleaning my cabinets with the thieves all-purpose cleaner from Young Living and um, I do have a link in the bottom if you need to get some thieves to clean your house with it is non-toxic and I clean absolutely everything with it Yes, I use the Thieves on um, everything, including my stainless steel, and it works great. It does not leave um, streaks or anything. the mess behind me I have been working on taxes and I have tax stuff everywhere so I'm gonna try to tackle that now and kind of clean up the tax stuff and move it to the place that it needs to be instead of at the computer because it is a piled up mess So my chairs get absolutely disgusting. Um, kids like just touch them with food all over their hands. And so, yeah, I'm gonna wipe these down and uh, try to get them a little bit cleaner. I'm 
Now I'm going to gather all these balloons and go put them in the play area. And this is my little Lele. If y'all don't know, that's Lele. She is our Yorkie. She is, um, she is eight years old now, just about eight. And uh, she is just a sweetie. And yes, I do keep these blankets. Um, I'll keep one on this side of the couch and then I like to put one on the other end of the couch because that is where our two little kids like to sit. And well, it's just easier to keep that there. That way if they're eating anything on the couch or drinking, it gets on the blanket and not the couch. I can just throw the blanket in the washing machine so much easier than scrubbing something off the couch. <laughs> So I am going to just try to dust off some of these um, tables that we have in the living room because they gather dust, something terrible. So I'm just using my thieves again to dust off the tables and the mantle and all the hard surfaces. And if you see Gracie there, she's helping me. She loves to help me clean. If you see this um, shelf under the fish tank, it is driving me crazy because every time I put the games in there neatly, they get put back in there like they are. And um, I kind of gave up on getting them organized. So I've got to redo that, but that was not on my list for my power hour today. And their little table does not always stay there, but lately they've been really liking to play there and do puzzles and play doh and things. So that's why um, the little table is there right now. And this is real life. My house is dirty and yeah, I'm a mom. We have five kids in and out of this house from teenagers to little kids all the time. And there are blankets everywhere. There are pillows everywhere. My kids will not leave the pillows and blankets where they go. And, you know, that's just life because they are kids and they're going to use them. And our home is just lived in. And that's just the way it is. If you see me fluffing up some of the cushions, that's because our sweet Lele loves to make a mess. Does anyone else's dogs like to do this to their furniture? Like, she crushes my furniture. This is where she sits. That's where she sits. That's why we have little blankies for her. And then they sit on the back of this one. So yeah. We love you, Lele. Yes, we do. I love you, Lele. Now I'm going to move on to vacuuming the floors. So we did have wood floors um, when we bought this house and we had them ripped up um, almost two years ago I guess and had this um, porcelain or yeah porcelain wood look tile put down. So it is a tile and it is porcelain and we love it. It is so easy to clean and take care of. And if you're wondering, this is my rainbow vacuum cleaner. Um, I 
love the rainbow because it cleans um, with water in the bucket. So anything like dust or anything, dirt is actually going into water and it stays there instead of going back out into your house. So um, I've had this rainbow, I've had many rainbows and I love them. They are so worth the money. Um, they're a little difficult, I would say, with having to get the water together and then emptying the water out and having to pull the vacuum around, but it is definitely worth it. I don't use the rainbow, but about once a week on our floors, and otherwise I use my stick vacuum, and then I like to use um, my robot vacuum cleaner um, at night. So I'm just going to switch the heads on the vacuum cleaner from the hard floor attachment to the carpet attachment. That is one of the things I love about the rainbows. It's so easy to change out the, the attachment heads. And there's Lacey watching me vacuum and little Grace.
I'm going to move on to mopping the floors and we're going to use this wonderful mop that I absolutely love and obviously Grace loves it too. They love to spin it but it is so easy to use and I'm really really glad I bought this mop. see dance gracing because we do have music playing in the background while uh, we're cleaning we turn on the Alexa and just blast the music and clean and stuff and you may see my husband in the background um, but and there's cocky our little boy dog he is also almost eight years old um, and he does wear diapers because uh, we have bred them before and he will mark his territory if we don't watch him all the time so uh, he does wear diapers in the house and uh, <laughs> he wears diapers and he wears the little cloth diapers over top so yeah he's like our little baby literally he is like a little baby There was something stuck on my floor there, and I found a couple different places that there was things stuck on the floor. And this mop works really good because I can even use like the edge of it and really get stuff off that's stuck on. So yeah, the OC mop is definitely a winner in my book. There's Cocky. He's so funny. And Grace.
is it has been an hour and maybe a minute or two but yep thanks for watching this video and please subscribe and like and comment below and i hope you all have a blessed day see you later